ayes 66, noes 23. Declare the motion carried and call the member for Riverston. Thank you. I'll just hold on for a while. Ready to proceed. Call the member for Riverston. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, it is my pleasure to move that this House notes the strong community support for the New South Wales Government bringing Neighbourhood Watch into the 21st century with the launch of Project iWatch. Yeah. iWatch is about empowering residents with the ability to participate in crime prevention activities to ensure community safety. It's a model that understands that residents can't all necessarily meet in the town hall anymore, that the world today operates differently. Project iWatch will give community members the opportunity to participate in active crime prevention activities online in their own homes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can log on when you're on the train, at the bus stop, out shopping or just about anywhere else in your local community using the technology that's now available. Neighbourhood Watch groups can be mobilised through iWatch using social networks and afford them the opportunity to participate with their local police in active crime prevention initiatives. This initiative acknowledges how many people, especially the young, access and communicate information these days. It's in fact a natural way of communicating for many people in our community and we're simply catching up with that reality. We will train civilian precinct coordinators and police coordinators at the local area command level to participate in online crime forums and provide accurate and up-to-date information to ensure safety and security. iWatch presents an opportunity for residents to be aware of incidents that are occurring in their neighbourhood and provide them with the ability to voice their concerns to police, obtain feedback and to be part of the solution. Local residents have a wealth of knowledge about their own area and what is happening around them. Police and Emergency Services Minister Gallagher said iWatch brings back fundamental community-based policing. He said that police are only as good as the information they receive and there is no better CCTV camera in this state than the human eye. The ability to interpret and report what is being seen is paramount to successful community policing. iWatch is about communities regaining control over their local areas and over crime. Pilot programs for iWatch have been established in 10 local area commands, starting obviously with Quakers Hill, as I've already mentioned this afternoon. They're also in Tweed Byron, Sutherland, Newcastle, Parramatta, Griffith, Arana, Campbelltown, Barrier and Cabramatta. Already some of these commands have had incredible results, just through word of mouth. The Quakers Hill LAC Facebook page has 191 active fans, 434 monthly active users and there have been some 42,000 hits on the page where information was obtained from the site since it was switched on on July the 6th. Sutherland LAC attracted 64 fans, 2,531 hits in less than 48 hours, while Campbelltown LAC had 630 hits and 63 fans in less than 24 hours. Madam Speaker, I was privileged to be present both when Project iWatch was launched here in Parliament House and on the following day at the official launch in Riverston of the project within Quakers Hill LAC. A driving force for the Riverston area to be among the first included was local resident Paul Hutchinson. 
I described him at that launch. Uh, or, order. There is too much audible conversation going on in the House. Could the member for Riverston be offered the courtesy of silence? Thank you. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I referred to Paul Hutchinson uh, on that occasion as a local hero, and I believe that to be the case. Paul became active in the cause after his elderly mother's home was burgled while she was present, and that caused, of course, a great deal of distress to her and to the family. Paul used Facebook to alert friends in the area of the incident and received an overwhelming response. And from that response was born the Facebook page that now is hosted by Quakers Hill LAC. Paul has since then worked closely with Superintendent Gary Merriweather and other police at Quakers Hill, including Community Safety Officer Constable Sue Carter, in developing the local project. The police emphasise that they still want people to report crime in the usual way through Crime Stoppers, triple zero for urgent help and the police assistance line. Project iWatch is a platform for the delivery of information to the community of New South Wales, utilising Facework as the network tool to create a 21st century Neighbourhood Watch community. Project iWatch will give community members the opportunity to participate in active crime prevention activities online in their own homes. Some of the main benefits of Project iWatch are it gives the community greater access, it uh, allows real-time engagement, it seeks a consensus on a problem, it provides accurate, up-to-date information to the community, it facilitates forums to find solutions, creates an ability to provide feedback, develops a high-value community network, it empowers residents with the ability to participate in crime prevention activities in their area, and it understands the reality of life that people can't all participate in the traditional ways in community activities. Madam Speaker, it is appropriate that this House expresses its sorry, not Madam Speaker, Mr Deputy Speaker, it's appropriate that this House expresses its support for programs of this nature. The participants in local iWatch projects deserve the commendation of this House for the time and effort they give and the genuine interest they demonstrate in the welfare of their local communities. Project iWatch is an initiative that has been accompanied by positive steps on other fronts by the O'Farrell Government to ensure community safety. This Government has enhanced police move-on powers, introduced the offence of intoxicated and disorderly, and legislated to ensure that anyone who murders a police officer faces life in jail. Each of these initiatives has fulfilled commitments made by the Coalition prior to the election, and each has been delivered early in the life of this Government. Mr Deputy Speaker, Project iWatch exemplifies the approach of a government that is interested in addressing the concerns of members of the community. This contrasts with a Labor government over the last 16 years that was only interested in controlling the headlines, not controlling the streets, far too interested in reducing political risks to itself and not nearly enough interested in reducing the real risks of crime for ordinary people. Therefore, I am pleased to have been able to highlight today the manner in which the O'Farrell government is going about the task of supporting police and citizens in local communities in confronting and reducing crime. <laughs>